Hello, so my name's Miss Horton and I'm going to talk to you about one of the choices for the year 9 pathways in science. So most students will follow this pathway here, aqa GCSE Combined Science, and at the end of this course we'll be awarded two GCSEs in science. If you are interested in studying separate sciences, there will be a separate video for you to watch. So this course is made up of three separate parts, biology, chemistry and physics. And over two years, students will study different topics in these three areas and will be assessed at the end of the course by sitting six papers, each worth 70 marks. Each of these papers is an hour and 15 minutes and the total exam time for this course is 7 hours 30 minutes. But don't worry, you don't need to do it all at once. Usually, paper 1s in biology, chemistry and physics are sat before the May half term, with paper 2s being after the half term. And there's usually a couple of days in between each of the exams. So they are nice and spaced out. When studying these topics, they are broken down like this. So biology has four paper one topics, chemistry five and physics four as shown here. Paper two is outlined in a similar way. So there are three biology topics in paper two five chemistry topics and three physics topics. There does seem a lot more chemistry, but the topics are slightly shorter than those in biology and physics. As well as these topics, learn about them in class, there are 21 required practicals that students need to study over the two years, and they're listed here. Students will carry out the practicals in school or access them via video clips or online learning. And in doing that, they will be able to carry out the practical either using equipment in a lab or by simulation and gain some results and carry out some analysis. When they do that, they need to be able to manipulate data, they need to form conclusions and they need to analyse charts and graphs. And all of this is tested as part of those six exams at the end of the course. But not all of these will be tested. The examiner chooses which ones will come up, so it's important that the students access them all. Throughout the six science exams studied, the students will be assessed against three assessment objectives and these run throughout all six exams. Assessment objective one is where the students you answer short questions to test knowledge and understanding of scientific ideas, techniques and procedures. And the overall weighting for AO1 is about 40% of the six exams. AO2 is slightly more challenging. And here they have to be able to apply their knowledge and understanding so sometimes the questions can be a bit more abstract and ask them to dig a bit deeper to determine what is actually going on. And finally, AO3 is the most challenging and this is where the students will get the most marks because these questions ask to be able to interpret and evaluate, to make judgments and draw conclusions from evidence. And so, although it's less weighted, these questions are to allow students to access the highest levels in the exams and get the best outcomes. So, if you'd like any more information, you can contact any of the teachers listed here. Your son or daughter's class teacher should be in this list here. And again, my name's Miss Horton, I'm the Assistant Director for Learning for Science and Mr Singh is the Head of Science. So if you would like any more information, please get in touch. Thanks for watching. Bye.